so today, first day working on, just walking on a leash, and we are gonna go for a little ride, and see how he does. Um, not in a dog box, just a little heavy, tied up on the leash. I got this uh, loop deal over here on the back of the truck, and uh, I don't know, we'll see. So far so good, he seems to be doing pretty good walking on the leash, so. We're gonna keep working with him and get him where uh, there ain't no jumping and bumping around. Um, I think it's probably a good idea when you have a, a young pup to uh, work with them on a leash. Don't just put them in the dog kennel and wait on them to get bigger to, to get ready. They, they can be learning all the time. Learning his name, coming to you, whatever. Um, and uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes today. <music> All right, guys, I got my uh, battery in today for my uh, old light, and uh, I'm going to do a little video of me swapping a battery out. It's not that big of a deal. It's pretty easy to do, but um, anyway, I'll uh, shoot a little video here and kind of talk you through it, show you about it. Um, you know, maybe there's somebody out there that hasn't done it before. This, this will be the second one I've had to put on this light. <clears throat> this light is almost 30 years old um i actually reached out to the company they're still in business they moved locations but uh they ended up getting me a light and um or a battery at a new charger for it i lost my charger so anyway i'm gonna shoot a little video here let me get the camera down where y'all can kind of see it okay so here's the uh the new battery that comes this is a uh, Prowler light. This is the custom. Now, the, this is not like the the new lights you see now. These are, you know, the, this is a pretty heavy. I don't remember what the, exactly they said it weighed, but it's pretty pretty stout battery. But um, it, it's been a very very good reliable light for sure. Um, I've hunted with it many hours and it's it's lasted. Um, but anyway, there's the battery. Um, Here's the charger um, from Prowler. Um, this is uh, this was originally made by the Quick Track guys. Um, they uh, they had this uh, this light originally, and um, they actually used to be in Dothan, Alabama, uh, years ago, and that's where I got mine from. Um, just because that's, that's where I was from, and. You know, other than years ago, night light, that's all that was available to us. But anyway, on this battery, there's just four little Phillips head screws. Um, you just unscrew those. They're kind of short. And I brought this in because I didn't want to do this on my tail out in the garage where I usually work. Because it was night and it was uh, kind of got dark on me and I got a little bit better lighting in here. So, anyway... You just pop these uh, four little screws off and get them off. It should be uh, two wires with some uh, studs on them. I've never had to change the rheostat or uh, any of that, that type of stuff in this one. Um, like I said, it has been uh, an extremely reliable light for me. Um, <clears throat> I actually think I've got another light bought. So this one may end up being a backup just because it is so heavy. Um, I don't know what to see. I, I kind of like the older yellow colored bean that they put out. So uh, we, uh, we'll we see. I, my, my son has a um, K light and it, it's been pretty good, but I've already already had to send it back in it's actually gone right now to get another battery put in it so um definitely does not last like these batteries do um you know the reliability in these and i don't know if you can see that i'm gonna turn the camera down just a little more okay if you see there it's just a phillips head screw on each side and it's got a positive and a negative wire with a, uh, you know, just a loop connector on the end of it for the screw to go through. Um, you just run the screw back down, tighten it up, 
positive side, negative side. Okay, now I'll just make sure they're tight. Um, and uh, really, I, I mean, I've never had any issues with water or, or anything, and I've been in the water up over my light before, uh, even though it's on my side. So, anyway, that was that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, this this is made by the guys that, with uh, Quick Track. Um, they actually are still in business. They still can get parts for these lights. They, of course, they said that you know they don't advertise these a lot just because you know everybody's going to the the cap light. They're lighter, of course, and um, some of them are even brighter. Um, this particular one, uh, I bought. A, I think I figured it up. I was 14 when I bought this light. I've been using a uh, wheat light prior to this, so um, this was definitely a big upgrade then. But for what I could get another battery for and charger, um, to me it was worth just getting this one back up and going, um, just so I could have it either for, you know, a backup or, you know, I may even use it for, to start with. Like I said, I, I think I've got a line on getting a, a new light, but um, we shall see. I'm gonna put back on the belt here. It's got the old 5100 head style head on it, um, and it works great for me. I've been able to find a lot of coons with it. It's just the regular old 5100. It's got the knob on it, um, and then this one of the reasons I bought this light is because it does come with the extra spotlight, and I did like that so. Anyway, that, I'm just going to do a little video to show y'all. You know, maybe there's somebody that's never done this before. You might not ever do it. Um, I guess it just kind of depends on what kind of light you're using, what you like. But it's kind of simple. No, no big deal to do. But anyway, it's, uh, it's back in, back on, and we'll get her, uh, get her charged up, and... And she works. You know, it's got uh, this low setting, next setting, another setting, and one more. So, I mean, it, it kind of gets bright, but that's it. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna plug it up, put it on charge, let it charge for tonight. Uh, make sure we get a good charge into it. Um, I was gonna check my spotlight. I'm not so sure that I didn't blow a bulb in it the last time I used it. Um, just kind of messing around. And I was messing with it and I think I blew the bulb in it, but we'll see here real quick. Oh, oh, she still works. She's pretty bright too. So anyway, pretty happy about that. Um, like I said, man, them guys was really helpful. Um, reached out to them and they were like, well, nobody really uses them. We don't really produce these lights anymore, but hey, if you need a battery, we'll get you one. They got me one pretty quick for them not to be in production anymore. Um, so if you, if you need anything like this, reach out to uh, Quick Track Outdoors, I believe is what they're called now. They're in Arab, Alabama, um, and they can get you hooked up with a light or probably whatever they 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 i actually offer a different style light now um something new they're selling so um they can probably hook you up anyway just going to show you a short video of my light that uh, i've had for a while that i'm going to try to at least keep up and going as a backup so you guys have a good night and remember keep them treated <music>